Residents living on land administered by the Falkras Traditional Authority flock to Kweja's village to witness the deputy sheriff Peter van der Heever executing the eviction order. The sheriff's team could be seen removing the fence and building materials which were on Halan's illegally occupied premises, but van der Heever said the court did not give clear-cut orders on what to do with the nearly completed brick house, adding that he will go back to court for a demolition order. Senior Councillor of the Traditional Authority, Martin Biva, who handled Mother Halan's application for customary land rights, said the process started in the framework of the law, but her son broke the procedures. But the leader of a breakaway group from the Falkras Traditional Authority, Andreas Biva, showing sympathy with the Halan family, had this to say. There is a misuse of power that I see, and they are trembling, children of this soil and children of this nation. While the president yesterday stipulated clearly about housing and everything. So for me, this process must be stopped. It is moving in a wrong way. And those who are not having any assistance is trembled by this decision and by this council. A shocked Helena Haaland is disappointed with how things turned out. The application was on my name and when the process started, everything seemed in place. And now I failed to understand why I was not told the land I applied for belongs to Konyore. And strange enough, now that we have almost completed the house, this comes up. Martin Biva said Khalan's application was for a piece of land, a Koikha's village only. <laughs> there is nothing like claiming for ancestral land. But if you wish to occupy land on which your ancestors lived, you are free to do so. But procedures have to be followed. We cannot allow lawlessness and this is exactly what transpired here. Some residents accuse the traditional authority of favoritism and nepotism.